Denver 7 Now is sponsored by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Shannon Ogden with your Denver 7 Now update. A Denver police officer was suspended for two days after violently yanking a woman out of a car before realizing she actually wasn't the suspect he was looking for. That officer was one of three suspended last month for excessive force. A second was given six days without pay for punching a man who refused to take his hands out of his pockets. And a third, 10 days for hitting a man in the face, even though his partner already had the suspect restrained. Well, the Phillips County Sheriff's Office is telling people to ignore their request to be on the lookout for a van or camper that could be acting as a mobile drone command post. Sources tell us that's because there was never any reason to believe there was such a vehicle. The Sheriff's Office has not apologized for putting out the information, but did say it will leave it to the newly formed drone task force to share any future leads. And a pack of wolves reintroduced themselves in grisly fashion in Colorado, just tearing apart this elk. This is near Irish Canyon. That's in northwest Colorado. Apologies if you were eating. Eyewitness accounts point to there being at least six on the prowl near the Utah-Wyoming border. Now, because wolves remain federally endangered, Colorado Parks and Wildlife says it will not take direct action. Wow. All right, from your first alert weather center, after an absolutely spectacular Wednesday, well, it's going to get a little more seasonal as we end the work week, and we could see some snow here in the metro by Friday. Well, thank you for watching this Denver 7 update. Make sure to download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone. It gives you breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Shannon Ogden.